Hello! In today's video, I'll take you digging with me for thrift treasure at the Goodwill outlet bins where you pay by the pound. And then at the end of the video, I will show you what I brought home in my thrift haul. Here we go! The first thing I saw that was interesting at all was this old tool. I really liked the color of the handle. And like one of you said, they just don't make tools like they used to. I saw this piece of enamelware and that was kind of an indicator to look closer into this bin. There was definitely some vintage items here. Saw this Pyrex lid, but it looked like it had like mineral deposits or something on it. I wasn't sure about that. And love jars of buttons. Those were kind of interesting. I always get interested in baskets that I find if they're in good shape because baskets are really cheap at the bins because they really don't weigh very much at all. I thought this piece of enamelware with the swirly blue pattern was really pretty. I 
I found this refrigerator dish and I was on a mission to find the lid. I thought this piece was really pretty. It did have a big chip in the bottom, but it looked like milk glass that was like, but it was green on the inside. I don't know. I don't know anything about it, but I did think it was really pretty and different. If any of you knows, let me know in the comments. This was a bag of yarns for latch hook rugs. Someone obviously had that as their hobby. I forgot to put it in the haul video because we've already worn them, but I picked this up for Chris as his Halloween costume and I found a wig that was new in its package for myself. So we were at Grandma and Grandpa North Garden. Okay, this is a situation where it's like, take now, go through later. So I'm just gonna put these in my car and I'll go through them. Oh man, I got here too late. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he goes with the other one. He's broken, so. I thought this was neat. It was someone's DIY, maybe for a craft fair or something, but they made it as an earring holder. So it has a piece of lace and then you stick your earrings kind of hook them in there but I don't have a lot of like flat space or counter space in my bathroom otherwise I would have gotten it and my bathroom is where I keep my earrings I thought that was a clever idea though oh he's broken too how sad <laughs>
Okay, seriously, how do Christmas bulbs survive this? There are definitely Christmas bulbs underneath all of this cake. Oh gosh. I'm trying to get to them without breaking them. Yeah, I'm gonna need two hands. There they are. I don't know how they did not get crushed under all. Look at all the stuff they were under. Bonkers. And they're my favorite color. Look at that. Vintage mail scale. It's pretty heavy. Kind of cool though. What is this? Large light bulbs. It's not large light bulbs. There's nothing in it. Cool box. And look here. It's the other ball. Amazing. And it's not broken either. I have something else in my hand, so I'm going to grab it. But I just wanted to show you before I pulled it out. I literally almost missed this. It's so cute. I don't really know anything. Oh, sorry. I pulled this little train out just in the nick of time. I didn't get a chance to look for this piece. Which I guess is the light. But... It's so cute. Holy cow. Wow. I'm so glad I saw it before they took the bin. Did you see them take it right out from underneath me? That's how it works. And there's like nothing you can do. You cannot, you cannot argue or you get kicked out. <laughs> I'm going to be satisfied with the fact that I got this right before it went away. Okay, while I'm waiting for the next bin to arrive. Oops. Sorry. I'm going to start going through these bags because I know I don't want to take it all. I don't think. So we've got, these are adorable. We've got some, like a snowman bag. So clearly someone donated grandma's Christmas goodies and she had them pretty well organized. Cute. Oh, but it looks like he's missing something. Had something hanging from him. That little hook. Here. The bin that came and replaced the one that they had taken out from underneath me did not have the amazing vintage Christmas stuff in it like the other one did. So that's what I mean when I say here that I was a little disappointed. I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Got some plasticky greenery. These are kind of neat. I might pull some of this out. I don't want it all. I don't want the fruit. This is like that thing I saw at the thrift store the other day, and they wanted $4.89 for it. I might pull that from my shop. Okay, not finding much else, but well, these are pretty. I am going to pull these because they're brand new and I can donate them somewhere. I mean, I'm sure they say that, but I don't think like the, the shelters around would probably take them. Okay, I got someone behind me, so I got to speed it up. Do you remember Alfie? Oh my goodness, I totally remember this. 1985. I think the issue for me is I was like older, but I wanted it, but I was too old for it or something. Oh, I don't remember wanting it. So funny. And I looked it up before anyone yells at me. They don't sell for very much on eBay. So I'm just gonna be content to see him and know that I saw an Alfie, but I didn't need to buy it.
Okay, I'm rounding out my time here, but I did just find these transferware plates. These are from Norway, and then I got a stack. I'm leaving that one behind because it's pretty messed up, but they are Palmyra, Palmyra brown transferware. So I'm going to grab some of these. I'm going to ask Jamie if she wants any and some of the, I might try to sell some. Okay, so I hope that was fun digging with me this week. This week I spent, I think it was $42 and change. I have not pulled my receipt out, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. It might have been $43. It was close. So as I go through everything, you can kind of keep that number in mind. Okay, this might have to be split. It's a pretty big haul. Uh, I'm going to see how it goes, but I'm going to try to be efficient. Okay, so I got a ton of home decor for myself. I'll start with those items. So I got two of these. Where did the other one go? Here we go. I got two of these. They are very large. I would say they're probably like 15, 14 by 15 maybe. Um, very big and they have this like rope handle. Really cool. I am going to do Christmas... Um, arrangements in them and use these outside on my house because they're that like they're a good size for outdoors I'm thinking possibly one on each side of my garage instead of like normally I would do like a evergreen spray but I might do these instead I am going to spray them with some polyurethane spray um just to you know preserve them a little bit so I got those two I got this also for my Christmas home decor I pick up greenery anytime I can at the bins if it's really nice because this stuff is not cheap to buy in the store. I mean, you can see this is really well done and it's actually really lightweight. So when you're paying by the pound, you don't pay very much. Okay, also for my home decor, I've got Christmas on the brain. I mean, these things could be used for non-Christmas decor, but that's just where my brain is right now. I got this. Oh my gosh, I love this. It's a fisherman's basket. It's got the, you know, the faux leather straps. I think this is so cute. And it's going to be adorable by my front door with like a Christmas arrangement in it with some evergreens. I can also use this in summer decor if I want to. I might, I don't know. I'm not there yet right now. I have Christmas on the brain. So I got that to do a little Christmas arrangement. Then, oh, so many good things. Um, I got this. I'm kind of mad at myself because it's, it wasn't broken and I broke it because I dropped it when I was getting it out of my car. But uh, I am going to be working on some DIYs for my Christmas mantle. And I have um, an inspiration photo that I saved in my phone. And I'm not going to like completely dupe what this person did, but I'm definitely doing a lot of the things that they did. And one of the things is a sign. So I'm going to be making that out of this. That will show up in a DIY. If you didn't know, I do have a DIY channel and I can link that here and you can check out some of the DIYs that I've been working on recently if that's your sort of thing. I also have a home and garden channel um, and that those channels are always linked in the description box of all of my all things thrift videos. Okay, moving on. Also for my home decor, I found four of these little like plate stands. Um, I also use them for like framed art. These are great. They're not cheap to buy. Usually you pay like a few dollars per. And a lot of times you can just buy the plastic ones, which aren't as nice. And these are all wood. So, and I could paint them if I wanted to, but I use these things everywhere all the time. I'm always running short. I have bought some off of Amazon. They were cheapy plastic ones. They work just as well. But when I can find nice ones for cheap at the bins, I pick them up. So I got those. Okay, and then let's see. Also for my home decor, I got this, the bath, the clock in our bathroom. I like to have a clock in our bathroom just for when we're getting ready. It's more useful like when we're going to jobs. <laughs> now that we're working at home, it's not as important, but I still like to have it in there because I don't know. I'm just a clock person. I like to know what time it is. And the one in our bathroom recently just died. We don't know why. It just stopped working. So this one does work like it turns because it had a battery in it when I picked it up I took that out before I left the bins I do know that it turns like it ticks so I'll just have to see if it keeps time and if it keeps time that's gonna be great I don't need to do anything to it because I actually do like a um kind of like a little bit of a boho spa thing going on in my master bathroom so this is gonna go really well if it keeps time so that was a really good find okay also I got this 
because uh, if you do watch my home channel at all, you know I've been doing a lot of organizing. Currently today, even working on organizing my linen closet. And there's just like a lot of things that need organizing, like a lot of things that get kept in there, like washcloths and napkins. And so keeping those in like baskets is going to keep them much better organized. So, and I don't like to spend a lot on organizers if I can help it. So I'm just going to clean this up. It looks like Goodwill had it priced at $1.99. That I would have paid that for that, but I probably paid, mm, I don't know, probably like 50 cents. Okie dokie. Oh, I got this. I love this. So I have the berry bowls that go with this. This is so like, I don't know, 50s, 60s. I'm not sure. I can't remember if it's Fire King or not. Let's see. They had $3.99 on this. Oh, looks like there's a mark. I should have tried this beforehand. Hold on a second. Oh, I think it's Federal. Yeah, I believe it's Federal Glass. Oh, it says Oven Proof. Yeah, that's definitely Federal. So I can only see half of it. Ah, you can't see any of it. Uh, let's see. Nope. Oh, you could sort of see it. There it is. So that's federal glass. Um, and so I have, I think, eight of the berry bowls. I have used them in tablescapes before. This is great because if I serve pudding or fruit salad or whatever the case would be, I can put it in here and then have the cute little dishes. And so I think that's going to be really great to have the serving bowl that goes with those little dishes. Okay, I got a bunch of vintage trims. I don't even know if they're vintage. They're just, they look vintage, you know, because they're lacy. But I got a bunch of these like crocheted trims. And these are beautiful if you just like to look at them like I do, like, because they do have different shades of white and cream. And if you just roll them up like this, and then you fasten it with one little straight pin, and then you have a bunch of those, you can put them into like one of those silver candy dishes I was showing you, or you can fashion yourself a silver candy dish with like a flat dish and then a, a, a can, um, excuse me, a candlestick as like a pedestal. And you just set that on a shelf in a vignette and it looks so pretty. If you like like the shabby chic, you know, farmhouse thing, that is a lovely display or the background to a vignette really like that. So that's what I'll be doing with those. I have been collecting them as I have seen them at the bins because that's a, the cheapest way to get them. And so I'm going to just roll them all up and put them in a display probably in my January decor. I'm not sure I'll use them in at Christmas time. That's what I did last year. I used a lot of my um, like doilies and crocheted items in glass containers just displayed on shelves. It was just, I don't know, just like a really warm and cozy feeling for that like post Christmas, you know, when everything calms down and you want your decor to be a little calm and soothing. It's a nice element to have out then. So that's probably when I will put those out. All right. Oh, there's so much to get through. Okay. Also for my home decor, I picked up this. I have one already displayed in my kitchen. I love um, white enamelware with the black edge. I have a bunch of it and I have like somewhere I've just found lids. I actually keep them next to my stove because it's really useful to just sometimes if you don't have a lid for a pot, you just kind of throw that on top if you need to, you know, have a lid. So and I like to display them in the meantime, like I put them on my counter and just let them be a display when they're not in use. So I just need to clean this one up and I will put it with the one that I already have. I got this little bowl. There's nothing special about it. I just liked the metal of it and this so this will go into my home decor probably wouldn't use it for like food because I don't know if it's food safe but it will look pretty in a display the next thing I found is so cool I'm actually going to split it I'm going to sell some give some away and keep some for myself I found this big stack of brown transferware okay so some of them are in really good shape like for their age these are really old I looked them up uh, I can't remember the age. The It says on the back Palmyra, Palmyra, and it says WB. And so these are in pretty good shape. This one does have like a little flaw here. Almost feels like a chip, um, but nothing on like this part of the dish. And there's four of them that are in relatively decent shape. So these I will probably stick in my shop. Oops, sorry. And... I just think they're gorgeous because it's brown transfer wear. It's unusual. It's old. Okay. And then there's four of that same set that I'm going to offer to Jamie from Border Bananas. She loves brown transfer wear. And um, so like this one has a flaw. You can see it got a crack in it. And then 
I think I've told you this before. If you see a crack with like brown around, that means like water has gotten in there. So she wouldn't want to use these for like food, but they'd be gorgeous in a display because she really likes things with crazing. And these have a ton of crazing, these older ones. So, so I'm going to see if she wants these because <clears throat> I know that she likes the brown transfer wear. And here's another one with a lot of cool crazing. And then for myself, I'm going to hold on to these because um, in January, I bring out brown bottles like brown glass and then a lot of greens and whites and pink, which sounds random, but it looks really nice together. And that, so that's my palette for January. And I think that these will be gorgeous on a shelf in January, maybe with one like stood up so that you can see it. And then these as a riser, I'm not really sure, but look at this, look at the edge. Isn't that gorgeous? And the mark on these is different. It says Eggersund, Norway. So I think these are beautiful. These will stay in my personal collection. The four ones that are in better shape will um, go into my shop. And then these I'll offer to Jamie. And then if she doesn't want them, I'll just, you know, redonate them or something. Okay, I'm editing the video. I think it's going to be too long. So I'm going to cut it here and I will upload a second half of this haul tomorrow night, Monday night. That'll be a little extra bonus video for the week. So I hope this was fun, this first half of hunting with me and then seeing the first half of my haul. Tomorrow, I will show you all the other wonderful things that I got this week, some to keep, some to sell. So check it out then and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Mm -hmm.